A soil stability test, or slake test, is one of the easiest and most revealing ways to evaluate important indicators of soil health. It demonstrates the stability of soil when exposed to rapid wetting. The longer soil takes to break down in water, the more stable it is. Highly stable soil resists erosion from wind and water and improves water infiltration and holding properties. These two soil samples are from fields with completely different histories. You can actually see the difference. Microbes are highly susceptible to tilling that can greatly reduce their numbers. This soil is typical of fields that have been managed by conventional tillage practices. It's heavily degraded and unstable, dry, crusty, and compacted, lacking the beneficial microbes essential to healthy soils. With organic matter this low, you can see how pale and dry it is in comparison to this. Healthy, dark, moist, almost spongy soil. It looks this way because it's being managed differently with practices such as reduced tillage and cover crops. This soil is alive and active with a diverse microbial community called the microbiome. Carbon in the form of organic matter is held by the soil and doesn't release into the atmosphere. Soil particles become bound to form aggregates held together with substances like glomalin, a sort of microbial glue. Glomalin is produced by AMF, naturally occurring beneficial soil fungi. Studies show that AMF and glomalin help create stable aggregates and lock carbon into the soil, keeping it from escaping into the atmosphere as carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas. But if soils are depleted of AMF, the microbial balance is disrupted. Less organic glue is produced and soils become unstable. Disrupted soils are unable to retain the carbon and lose their capacity to hold water and nutrients needed to support healthy and productive crops. To show how important AMF, glomalin, and carbon exchange are to agriculture, let's drop both of these samples into water. See how the depleted soil starts to break down almost immediately as the soil pores collapse? The lack of AMF in this soil prevents the production of the glomalin microbial glue. So there's no stability, it just falls apart. That's why water, soil, and nutrients just run off depleted agricultural land. This runoff causes a cascade of events that are destructive to the environment and costly for farmers. Now, look at the soil that hosts a rich, diverse microbial community, the living soil. See how it holds together? The stable aggregates and pores remain intact, allowing the water to be absorbed without bursting the soil apart. Imagine a rain event with acres of land eroding due to unstable aggregates. In order to restore depleted soils to a natural, balanced microbiome that sustainably grows healthier crops, many growers are inoculating their cropland with AMF, such as MycoApply from Valent Biosciences. Over time, MycoApply, combined with other soil management practices, will help reduce costs related to irrigation, nutrient loss, equipment operation, labor, and more. For more information about soil health and MycoApply, visit our website.